A Vision for Addiction Treatment and Proper Diagnosis with Dr. Tanmoy Sharma, Chief Executive Officer for the Sovereign Health Group, and Dr. Judy Ho, PhD in Clinical Psychology and Contributor for CNN, CBS, ESPN, and HLN. Hi, I'm Dr. Judy Ho, and I'm here with Dr. Tanmoy Sharma, the Chief Executive Officer of Sovereign Health. Welcome, Dr. Sharma. Thank you, Dr. Ho. Pleased to be here. Well, I'm really excited to talk to you because I want everyone to learn about the proper diagnostic assessment for a patient. So to start, what are some of the recommended components in a comprehensive evaluation? We have our neurophysiology instruments and our cognitive instruments, which we've ignored. Mm -hmm. So why not use that together? Right. Why not use the clinical scales? You quantify psychopathology. You quantify psychophysiology, which is the quantitative EEG. You quantify neuro, neuropsychology. Mm -hmm. Put that all together. Mm -hmm. Look at it in a comprehensive report mm -hmm. and see what's wrong with this individual. Mm -hmm. And then let that guide treatment. Right. And then you can see that this is a very different approach mm -hmm. that you are taking. And you can all do this. This is not high end. Uh, you know, you can all do this. Mm -hmm under insurance if you do it right mm -hmm. and most insurance companies would want you to do it they don't want this patient to be going round and round right. each time most families don't want to pay their co-pays over and over again they right. would rather find out that Johnny has ADHD let's treat that properly right right rather than right. have to pay each time we should look at doing a diag a proper diagnostic interview what kind of diagnosis is being done? We do a, uh, a SCID, which is, arrives at a DSM diagnosis, a structured clinical interview mm -hmm. for DSM diagnosis. Uh, then, depending on the diagnosis, you would do additional clinical scales. If somebody is depressed, you do a Hamilton depression scale. For all our patients, we do uh, an addiction severity index. These are well-recognized, mm -hmm. validated scales. And it is important that we quant quantify psychopathology. Mm -hmm. So first of all, the diagnostic interview, mm -hmm. the clinical scales. Mm -hmm. Second, let us quantify your cognitive deficits. Mm -hmm. Neuropsychology is extremely important. You don't have to do eight hours of neuropsychology. Mm -hmm. You could do up to 40 minutes to an hour, and it could be automated. You don't need a psychologist necessarily to do it. There are various programs that one could, one could use. And thirdly, let us quantify the psychophysiological aspects. You could do a quantitative EEG, and that's part of a package mm -hmm. that various programs have. So when someone comes into treatment, how long does it take you to get through that entire comprehensive battery for, for your assessment? For a purposes? couple of days. A right. couple of days, but I would rather that if it were somebody in my family, I would rather that they get an assessment rather than being pushed into groups right. and just get, you know, process group after process Going group. through the motions. Yes. Yeah. I have no idea what's wrong with them. Why would I take blood pressure medication just because I was dizzy? Right. <laughs> I might have anemia. Yeah. Yeah. And, and so this is... This has been the accepted method of treatment. Mm -hmm. How have we accepted this mm -hmm. as the way we are treating people right around the country? Right. The question is, are people getting better by themselves anyway? Yeah, that's true. And they have these deficits. And is it that providers don't care because this is just more revenue back again? Mm -hmm. So. We've got to ask ourselves the question, if we are going to play with the big boys and be like the rest of medicine, are we ready mm -hmm. to be there? Right. Are we ready to be with the rest of medicine? Are we behaving mm -hmm. like the rest of medicine? Are we really doing evidence-based? Right. Not just treatment, but assessments, in the same way that just your family practitioner is doing. Forget centers of excellence. Right, right. And that is the standard of care across most areas of medicine. That is correct.